Welcome back. An upcoming solar amendment is under fire after a leaked audio file suggests the wording of the measure is an effort to trick voters. The audio is a speech from a member of the James Madison Institute, a Tallahassee-based think tank, and could put Amendment 1 in hot water just weeks before the November vote. ABC 7's Adam Cellini is joining us live with more on what local solar advocates are making of the tape. Adam. Well, Scott and Haley, you may have seen signs like this one around town. It's from uh, many solar advocates, people that install solar here locally, telling folks to vote no on Amendment 1. And now they feel they really have the ammo to strike this bill down. This is the, uh, the, the handgun with the fingerprints on it. At an annual meeting for think tank organizations, staffer Sal Nuzzo with the James Madison Institute may have pulled back the curtain on Florida's upcoming solar amendment. Remember this, solar polls very well. To the degree that we can use a little bit of political jujitsu and take what they're uh, kind of hitting us on and use it to our benefit. It's total confirmation of what we've been saying all along, that, uh, that the utilities have engaged you know, some very high-powered uh, lobbyists to basically you know, pull a fast one on the people of Florida. Bill Johnson owns Brilliant Harvest, a Sarasota solar installation company that's also with the Florida Solar Energy Industries Association. We're concerned that a lot of people just don't realize what it is that they're voting for. Amendment 1 was put on the ballot by Consumers for Smart Solar, a campaign with millions in funding from Florida's major utilities companies. As local green certified architect Michael Carlson explains, it would allow utilities to impose fees on homes trying to go completely solar. Anyone that hasn't done any homework will go into the voting booth and read the amendment and say, I'm pro-solar, I would vote yes for this, and that's the exact opposite of what you should do. Nuzo says Consumers for Smart Solar approached his organization for research and called Amendment 1 an incredibly savvy move. So it essentially negated exactly what uh, the challenge was and what the uh, Southern Alliance for Clean Energy and Tom Steyer and all of these other folks were, were after. Johnson and others hope the admission pulls voters out of the dark about Florida's solar future. The question is, can we reach enough people in time? Now, uh, Consumers for Smart Solar told us in a statement today that JMI does not speak for their effort and whatever this individual is claiming or taking credit for with regard to Amendment 1 is simply not true. And JMI also told us in a statement that Mr. Nuzo generalized his commentary and misspoke in reference to JMI partnering with Consumers for Smart Solar in any capacity. We will put the full audio file on our website, mysuncoast.com, linked to this story. For now, live in Sarasota, I'm Adam Cellini. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Adam.